Hello. In the today's video, we'll compare transactional data with aggregated data. Our source table is the transactional data table, and the target table is the aggregation performed on that transactional table. Let's begin by creating a reconciliation rule. Let's name our rule appropriately. Let's set up our source data connection. We'll use the AdventureWorks database, the schema DBO, and the table account transactions. Let's preview the data. The table contains customer level information with multiple transactions for each customer ID on a given transaction date. Our test case is to validate the aggregated transaction amount which is the sum of the total transaction amount for each day for a customer ID. To achieve this, we'll write a query to find the total amount for a specific transaction date and customer ID. We'll group the results by customer ID, customer name, and transaction date, and calculate the sum of the amount. Let's refresh the data. The customer Elizabeth Baker had a total transaction amount of $16,104 on June 24th. Now, let's set up our target data connection. We'll use the AdventureWorks database, the schema DBO, and the account transaction daily table. Here, we can see that the aggregated data is already present. The customer Elizabeth Baker had a total transaction amount of $16,104 on June 24th. Let's set up our diff join condition. Let's use auto map by column name since our source and target tables have same column names. Let's pin the primary keys, customer ID, and transaction date. Let's add customer name and aggregated transaction amount as checks. Let's review the checks. In the checks we are comparing source and target customer name and the aggregated transaction amount. Let's publish. And execute the rule. Let's refresh our runs. Upon checking, we notice a warning and 33 mismatches. To investigate further, we can click on the instance ID. In the aggregated transaction amount, we find that for customer Josephine White on June 29th, the expected aggregated transaction amount from the source is $26,140, while the value from the target is $17,922. Thus, we have successfully compared the transactional data with the aggregated data using IceDQ. Thank you. With IceTQ Automate Data Migration Testing, ETL and Big Data Testing, BI Report Testing, and Production Data Monitoring, get IceDQ today.